Ow. Hi. How are you, my little holiday elves? This week, we are doing all things holiday, starting with Christmas shopping at the thrift store. For you. Exciting, I know, but first we have to pick out an outfit, so maybe you can help me. Let's go. There's only one thing I know about my outfit today, and it's that I'm going to be wearing these black sweatpants. They're comfy. What can I say? So let's try and make them look cool somehow. How do I do that? I'm thinking maybe we go chic on the top and comfy on the bottom. Let's make it happen. Why is it always the most ominous day when I come to this thrift store? It looks like I live in freaking Raccoon City or something. Let's go. All right, here's the situation. We're at the thrift store today looking for cool, vintage winter goods that'll keep you warm all winter long. But we're not shopping for me. We're shopping for you. I'm actually gonna be hosting a whatnot sale in a couple of days. And the things I find today are gonna be part of that sale. So let's find you some good stuff. This place is always good for the vintage dresses. Also found this super cute sailor style dress. Look at all those buttons. And this is a larger size, and I know larger sizes are more difficult sometimes to come across in the thrift store, so I definitely don't wanna to take too much, but I also wanna have a good spread of sizes for the sale. I just love this collar. Look at this super sweet little velour mini dress. The leopard collar. You know I'm a sucker for a the nanny moment. And maybe you are too. Okay, vintage Victorian doll vibes. I know some of y'all are into that. We're getting this. I was really hoping to find you guys some cozy vintage like sweaters, things to keep you warm and looking fresh. But I'm not seeing much that's like super unique. Oh, what is this? This has promise. Oh, it's so cute. This feels like something that Shein would rip off in a second. Yoink. This also has a cute little flower motif, a bit more granola. But I don't know if y'all are into such a long silhouette. How do we feel? Are we team crop? Or are we team tunic? Hmm. Okay, but why does this color palette like kind of pop off in a major way? Speaking of popping off. Yep. Wait, hey, what the heck? These are so cute. And wide-legged? Yes. Hot tip. If you're like me and when you try on pants, there's like a lot of gapping in the back because your waist is a little smaller than your booty. I would recommend looking for Liz Sport pants at the thrift store because a lot of times they've got nice wideness in the hips but then this little snatched waist like i just found these so cute and then right next door more liz and another little snatched waist with this cute little detail in the back keep your peepers peeled all right choose your character i don't know who josh is but i like his vibe you're a mess brian get some help You guys, I thought for sure this was from like Urban Outfitters, somewhere cute and trendy. Nope, that is pure uncut thrift store treasure. Am I gonna find it in my heart to put this in the whatnot sale or am I gonna keep it for myself? I don't think you could blame me. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'll try it on, we'll see. Ooh, 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 what do we have here? A little patchwork number. I wish this had a collar. I feel like that would make it a little cooler. Oh. All right, y'all, we've done a bit of sorting. This is stuff that I don't think I'm gonna get, whether it's stained up or I'm just not sure you'll like it or it's like out of season, like these dresses. And here's the stuff I think I am gonna get. We'll talk about what I actually get when I get home. But first, I gotta try some pants on. These pants are amazing. They're actually long enough, what? But they're... Just a little too tight. But it looks good though. Just saying. These pants, however, fit like a glove. And I think they were actually already tailored to fit the previous owner. So thanks, body double from the past. 
I'm back! And I have quite the Winter Wonderland haul to show you. But before I show you what I ended up getting, I do want to let you know that this Friday, I'm going to be hosting a sale of the items that I got at the thrift store, plus a bunch of other stuff from my personal collection that you may have seen in previous videos on Whatnot. So that's going to be on Friday, December 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. It's an auction style sale and most items are going to start at one or five dollars so you're probably going to be able to find some deals if you make it. And if you haven't heard of Whatnot, it's a platform where secondhand sellers can sell their goods ranging from vintage clothing to Pokemon cards to one-of-a-kind handmade goods. And if you use the link in my bio to sign up for your account you can get fifteen dollars off your first purchase which is going to go a long way. So if anything looks interesting in the haul that I'm about to show you make sure you come back on Friday. Even if it's just to say hi you don't have to buy anything. It would just be great to see you. Okay, let's get into it. Starting off with a slam dunk. I honestly can't believe I found this. This is a vintage dead stock Jennifer Dale nightgown with this sweet little purple accent ribbon. And it still has the tag from May of 1983. All right, next. I couldn't not get this denim jacket. Here's a little bit of a disclaimer though. She's a bit of a mess. There's some staining on the arms. There's definitely some staining on the interior lining. So I'm obviously gonna wash it, but the stains probably won't come out, so you'd have to be okay with that. Personally, I would wear it if that's any type of barometer for you. Here's this sexy, sleek little number. This is truly a mini dress. Got this beautiful velour texture, a little scoop in the hem. I didn't show y'all this, but I ended up picking up this beautiful glass heart pendant with a little flower inside of it. This feels very fairy core in the coolest way, maybe even a little like gothic. I'm tempted to keep this, we'll see. Next, since this is a winter jubilee, I couldn't say no to some Santa kitties featuring a really cool purple tie-dye texture and it was dyed and printed in the USA. And finally, the gold star of this entire haul. This adorable knitted pastel plaid cardigan. I'm obsessed with this. It is truly out of the goodness of my heart that I'm going to sell this. Although, is it goodness of my heart if I'm selling it and not just giving it away? <laughs> Probably not. It's a size medium. It has beautiful little buttons. And I want to stop talking about this because I am already sad. Also, I've been collecting things on random thrift trips and from my own closet that I thought y'all might like. I'm going to give you a super quick sneak peek. We're not going to go into details of all these things. So you're just going to have to come by on Friday and learn more. Are you ready? Incredible. Handmade orange and green checkerboard crochet bag. Is it knitted or crocheted? I can never tell. Another bag featuring round handles. Buttons in the shape of a heart on both sides. So toot. This vintage white stag slash speedo. What a combination. Watercolor button up. The cute crochet flower tunic I got in a previous video. This vintage tulip mock neck t-shirt that I also got in another video. This little black dress with cherry blossom embroidery that I also got in another video. <laughs> Over like a two year period, people. Okay, don't come for me. And finally, proof that there is goodness in the world. I'm gonna be selling my pants coat. It's true, I'm crazy. Crazy for you, that is. Don't get me wrong, I love this jacket. It is so weird and cool. But I wanna spread the Midwestern jacket drip across the world. So yet another reason to come by on Friday. All right, there might be more stuff thrown in there at the last second. Who's to say, it's a week away. But if that wasn't enough to entice you, I don't know what would be. So again, if you wanna come by on Friday just to check out the sale, say hi. You can click the link in my description to sign up. And if you do sign up and make a purchase, you'll get $15 off. That's huge. And speaking of whatnot, I may or may not have gone on a bit of a shopping spree a couple weeks ago on there. So let's rewind to that scene. We can find out how it all started. Also, my sale that I just talked about on Friday is not sponsored or in partnership with whatnot or anything. That's just me doing me. But for this next segment where we're shopping, whatnot did send me some credit to get me started. So thank you whatnot for enabling my dark proclivities. Let's go. You just stay right there. It's fine. Is there anything better on a cold winter's eve than to get in bed with your sweet little pup, a delicious nighttime tea, and a little bit of online shopping? Well, I guess more specifically, it's an online auction, but the auction that I'm trying to shop is starting in one minute, and it is hosted by none other than one and only Jenna Phipps. And if you don't know Jenna, that's a lie. Of course you do. She has this super cute hand-woven purse already in her store. That's what I'm 
really trying to get. There's another purse too that would be amazing as well. Honestly, I'd be happy with anything. Let's do this thing, Kashi. He's licking his area. I think Jenna's streams are really cool because she's mostly selling things that she made herself. Watching other people bid on an auction is very exhilarating. Who's it gonna be? This is the one that I really want. The blue and pink one. Oh, well, do I? Blue and pink or pink and green. I'm gonna bid on it. I did. Ah, it was that easy? <laughs> oh no. I might win. Oh my gosh, there's only five seconds left. No! <laughs> I got it! Oh snap! Not gonna lie, I'm exhilarated right at this very moment. <sighs> Kashi, are you pumped? I might actually go for the other crochet bag as well. And then I can gift the other color to one of my family members or a friend for Christmas. I don't want to be greedy. I want people to get it if they want, but if the bidding stays low, I'll snag it. Okay, I'm gonna bid. I bidded. I did the bid. I should have them probably. Kathleen, <laughs> congrats! I'm still shopping. I found vintage jewelry. I'm gonna just, I'll just hang out here for a little bit. Don't mind me. So, some time has passed and my whatnot packages, well, most of them have arrived. So I figured we could open the packages together. So this package is from Sugar Soul. These are the items that were from Rent the Runway. I was really hoping this would come before Christmas because these two items just feel so perfect for winter. Little winter party, little Christmas morning. All right, first things first. This color. And I already opened this package because when I finished my Teddy Plake purse in last week's video, I was like, I have to wear this dress with this purse. We need to have a matchy matchy moment. And then next is a sweater. I have not opened this one yet. Ta-da! Yes! The slouchy, asymmetrical turtleneck sweater of my dreams. So there were three things wrong with this one when I ordered it that I knew about. There's a little bit of pilling on the texture, the tag was falling off, which it's like, good, I'd rather it be falling off so I can take it off easier. And then there's a little bit of unraveling happening here right at the corner, but y'all know if you follow me on Instagram, I'm on my knitting and crocheting journey. So we'll probably need to patch this up before I can wear it just so the whole thing doesn't unravel around me. Emperor's new clothes style. And hey, maybe you're the type of person who's like, I wouldn't pay any money for an item that isn't perfect. Fair enough. But I consider my closet an island of misfit toys if we're staying on the holiday theme. All right, next thing. I'm actually already wearing. I got sucked into a couple vintage jewelry streams and I ended up snagging this beautiful little sterling silver rope bracelet. I think it was like $5, let me check. $6, made in Italy. And I already opened it because it was actually supposed to be a gift for Gus for his birthday, uh, but I didn't measure his wrist before I made the order. I just assumed, which is silly. And it arrived and it, it was a perfect fit for me and not for him. So thank you past me for the bling. And this was from Legacy Elite Trail. Treasure. Also, highly recommend his streams. I knew it was gonna be a fun stream when he started it by saying, let her rip, tater chip. And I was like, that's my whole personality now. And finally, I also got those two bags from Jenna Phipps, but it looks like they're just taking a little bit longer to get here. Oh, wait, it's out for delivery. Do you think it's here? Wait, this is not planned. Let's go check. Literally like negative 10 degrees today. So this is a high stakes door open. Here we go. <gasps> no not here yet okay so while we wait for those packages to arrive I actually have something that I've been meaning to do for a while and that's get our whole little Christmas corner of the house settled this is our Christmas tree this beautiful little Norfolk fir and I want to get some presents down here I need to wrap this turntable it's a gift for someone that I got at the thrift store isn't that crazy I was testing it to make sure it worked it does so let's do a little zhuzh job zhuzh zhuzh job on this corner and every good time lapse begins with me opening the blinds
Okay, so it's December 21st? 22nd? I don't know, it's close to Christmas, and I just realized that I don't have all of my Christmas shopping done. Oops. Specifically for Gus, his birthday is very close to Christmas, so sometimes I get a little confused about which present is for what, so. Got all of his birthday presents, but Christmas is looking a little sad. <laughs> we usually just do stockings for each other, so I just have to go find a bunch of cool stocking stuffers, and I'm thinking we can head to the thrift store to do that. Do you wanna come? Okay, let's get bundled up. It's cold, put your coat on. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? I've been wearing some version of this outfit for the past two days. Let's hit it. were full the whole time and my nose was so itchy <sighs> Whew. that was scary I felt like I was about to go insane anyways can y'all believe this of course vintage crew neck with the raglan sleeves and the gussy embroidery looks like the thrift gods aren't too mad at me for forsaking them last week for the paint gods and of course I think he's gonna love it uh, unfortunately that wasn't much of a stocking stuffer, so let's go to the market and get some savory treats. Ugh, I felt like I was gonna throw up. Let's go! Ow! <laughs> you guys wanna do a snack haul, but we have to whisper because Gus is in the other room and he doesn't know that I got him snacks. We're starting off with a classic. Seaweed. Oh, this is extra crispy Korean style seaweed for my extra crispy boy army stew. This is also kind of for me because I like this as well. Next, overpriced sesame sticks. I think I'm the most curious about this treat. Peanut ball. It also says we decorate coated peanuts with calamari. Never thought about decorating with calamari before. Okay, that's all the snacks. <laughs> Look what just showed up right in the nick of time as I'm finishing this video. Purses! And how cute are these? I'm strapped. I'm pursed up. Looking in the mirror right now, trying to figure out which one looks best with this outfit. Probably, since we're having a little magenta moment, let's stay matchy-matchy with the hot pink and blue. Although they're both adorable, and I'm so glad that I have one to give as a Christmas gift. And they even have the little tags. Maybe I should get some tags. So soft. Thank you, Jenna. Okay, that's enough. On with the outro. <sighs> Wasn't that fun? I'm so excited to see y'all on Friday the 30th for my whatnot sale. I'm looking at the mountain of items I need to process and get uploaded up there. And then I'ma just chill. I'm off work for two weeks, so it's time to just relax, enjoy the holidays, and I hope you do the same. I think we have one more video this year, which is wild. If you'd like to come back for that, make sure you subscribe so that you can get notified when I post it. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like to hang out there, and maybe I'll see you on Friday for the whatnot sale. Stay warm, I love you, and goodbye.